Guys, I'm about to play Candy Crush, and it's so fun. I play just like Kayla. Hey, y'all. I'm playing, playing Candy, candy Crush. Howdy, playing Candy Crush. We are getting ready to go see Baby Brother. Right now, baby. On the ultrasound. And the doctor's going to take him out. Girl, he ain't taking him out. Definitely not coming out right now, okay? Got literally three months left. Three months left, technically, because... Yeah. I'm um, 27 to not 27, Laura. I'm 23 weeks. So, according to the weeks, I got six months left and I'm nervous, even though it's technically four months away. But yeah. So, hey y'all. It's a new week. Happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. We did not pick up the camera yesterday, it was a very chill day. Wasn't trying to deal with too much. So, I decided not to pick up the camera. I was about to quickly throw this girl hair up into a bun. It needs to be done so bad. I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. Well, not the vlog. I forgot last week we didn't vlog. The husband and wife tag. It was very much requested and needed. Like I said in the video, we haven't done a video like that since we were boyfriend and girlfriend. We did the boyfriend girlfriend tag. So we needed an updated one. So I'm like, let me just make this the video for y'all. So did that and it was, you know, good. So if y'all haven't watched that, you need to go watch that. Husband and wife tag, link down below. And yeah, so today we are just going to check on him because if you guys watched my other vlog and heard me say that, um, during the one ultrasound that Jordan was able to come to, he was moving so much they weren't able to see whatever else extra they needed. So my doctor requested that I go and do another ultrasound. So I'm like, okay, fine. So that is today. It is at one o'clock and it's literally like 12.59. So I'm literally about to text them and tell them I'm here because we down the street. <laughs> And they're gonna check me in, and it takes them a long time to do that, anyways. So, this girl gonna have this curly little pony. Cute, cute. I also have to run to my P.O. box today, which I am planning on doing right after the appointment. Got a package I need to pick up. So, I'm gonna do that. And then, um,. Yeah, y'all. That's basically it for today. Nothing really crazy going on. It says, please come to the front desk with my insurance card. Oh, I forgot we switched insurances. Lord. Okay, we gotta go. Let's go. Hey, y'all. Back at home. And I'm so freaking mad I didn't get to record because... You know, the first half of the ultrasound, they don't show you what they're looking at, what's going on for whatever reason. So, of course, I don't have the phone, you know, on me and facing towards the screen because she doesn't even have a face towards me. But the second half, she starts showing me him. I didn't know she was going to show me that quick. At first, I thought she was saying, okay, you're done. But she said, okay, and turned the screen and then started showing me him. So, I couldn't just <laughs> make it obvious and pull out my phone and start you know you're looking at stuff so got to see him got pictures that i'm about to show y'all and what she had to check for today was his spine just making sure everything was good because he was moving so much last time she couldn't see his spine so yeah check that it's great y'all he was in there cutting up i'm like boy he was in there like he waved we got a picture of him waving he was yawning like he's a tired one i'm like boy so he was doing that he waved he um put his hand on his head because he was over it. he always doing that and then yeah got to see baby boy so let me show y'all the pics so here's the first one you can see his foot the little baby foot she say feet but i'm like isn't that just one foot i don't know unless that was like 
a part of his other foot, but that's the foot. And then here's his spine, so it looks great. She was able to get a good picture of it this time. Here's him acting like he just over everything. <laughs> Hand over his head like, let me get my piece. Stop trying to get pictures of me, I'm over it. We unfortunately didn't get the yawning one because he did it so fast, but it was so freaking cute. And then this, he was like sucking his thumb. He was putting his hand in his mouth and sucking his thumb, my lover. And then here's him waving. He said, hey y'all. Hey y'all, I'm here, what's good? So yeah, I love, love, love my ultrasound tech because technically, like she said, we're they're only able for whatever reason get to give you two pics. But she was like, he was doing so many cute things, I just had to give you all these. I'm like, thank you so much because I did not, when I tell y'all I did not get nearly as many pictures with Addie, I got so many ultrasound pictures of him, so I'm so glad. But speaking of him, quick few updates before I get to making Addie's food. Um, a lot of people have asked me about registry. And if we have one, like are we doing one? We are doing one for him. Actually, I'm doing an Amazon registry and I'll have everything linked to my P.O. box. For the few that ask, you know, gifts are obviously not, you know, we don't need gifts, but they're always appreciated. We loved when people sent us stuff for Addie, especially her coming home outfit. Well, it wasn't her coming home outfit, it was her picture outfit. We took pictures of her Princess Addison has arrived outfit. I saved it. One of our subscribers sent us that. Love it. So, of course, gifts are highly appreciated, but not needed. But I will do the Amazon registry and share it with you all when I do that. It's actually made. I just haven't added, you know, everything yet. But I made it to, like, start off. And then another thing, we will be having a baby sprinkle instead of, like, a huge shower. Still trying to figure out. I believe we went with the date in March. That will be happening. We're going to have something just nice, small, and intimate here at our house. So I can't wait for that. I decided on having it, like around a month almost before we have him. At first, I was trying to plan it like literally three weeks before he got here and my mom was like, you may be cutting it too close. And I'm like, you're right. So, gonna have that. And then yeah, everything is happening so quick. It's already about to be 2022. And I'm like, we gonna literally have four months. And then he gonna be here. Girl. Let me make this girl food, and yeah. <laughs> you got. So I just got done eating. Addie and I both. She had her usual, what she wanted, chicken nuggets and fries. And why did I just make some bomb tacos? Like, not tacos with meat. I made a copycat version of Taco Bell's spicy potato soft tacos. Y'all. I freaking love their spicy potato tacos. All it is, is literally potato. Potatoes, cheese, they got this spicy like chipotle sauce on it. And then I think it comes with lettuce, but I never get the lettuce on it. So I just get the cheese, the sauce, and the potatoes. So I literally had all that in my refrigerator. Obviously, I didn't have the exact chipotle sauce, but we got this like spicy ranch. Oh my God, it was so good. So we just ate. Um. Now I was about to do something. Oh, y'all, let me show y'all. We went to the store the other day, and my mom got baby boy a couple outfits. And I need to show y'all, because they're just so cute. Like, all baby boy clothes is just cute now. I'm like, wow. So, they're both right here. Here's the first one. they both newborn. And this one came with a onesie that says, the new family favorite. <laughs> And then the one like this says naturally sweet. And then has the onesie that say homegrown. Like how cute. Oh my goodness. I cannot with the baby clothes. And we got these two at the store at Meyer. If you guys have a Meyer. Um, their Carter's outfits were buy one, get one for a dollar, I believe. So yeah. These were 26 so then basically just paying 27 for both outfits so cute so back in the kitchen i am this girl literally hear me talking and come running i'm currently cooking dinner it is 7 15. jordan gets off gets off at 8. 
Avengers beeped. I like starting dinner around this time because he gets off in less than an hour. Please don't fall, because you will stand up here. This girl then came in the house, put on a different shirt, put on some shorts. But y'all, guess what I've been watching all day? Literally since we've been home, I've been watching labor and delivery vlogs. I even watched my own. <laughs> I've been watching, um, get two of them, like, natural labor vlogs and no epidural type vlogs. So y'all know with Addy, I didn't have one. And I'm trying to go that route again. So, I'm just, like, getting my mind prepared early. <laughs> so, right now, like I said, I'm making dinner. I'm making tortellini. So, I have my tortellini boiling right here. I just made my ground turkey. I am going to use vodka sauce. And I am about to make some rolls with this. So, so I'm going downstairs to get the rolls. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but we bought some rolls from Sam's Club. Y'all know with Sam's Club, everything comes in bulk. So we got it down here in our deep freezer. And I'm like, I don't want to bring that big bag upstairs. So we literally come down here. And just grab a few out. I brought a plate to put them on there. Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm clearly not about to just carry them upstairs. So, let's open this up. Take a few out. You got the best rolls, by the way. Who is this? Sister Schubert. Best rolls. Y'all see it came with 40. I thought we like getting it from Sam's Club. Because I'm like, we love eating these so much with dinner on the side i'm like we need more oh my god I'm trying to think how many i'm gonna make there's three of us jordan and i usually eat two addy will eat like half one now and then half one tomorrow when she have lunch again tomorrow because i'm gonna try to give her a whole piece of bread because this girl loves bread way too much and she'll just eat the bread first before the main course so i give her half to start off <laughs> so i think i'm gonna do one for Addie, two for Jordan, and maybe one for me. I do two. And just like that, dinner is done that quick. Hey y'all, I literally gotta sit here in the chair in the living room. I mean, in the kitchen. Cause my back hurts, like. And I got 17 more weeks with this hurt back. I literally sit in the bed every night now with a um heating pad on because and i have it literally going for at least like 20 25 minutes but i wish i could sleep on it all night look at him girl <laughs> you don't see him baby brother he literally say i felt him kicking the other day yeah he was kicking three times three times say Addie was able to feel him Jordan was the first person able to feel him weeks ago. And then now Eddie felt him. So, baby brother is moving. Yeah, he is active. Moving. But yeah. dinner is done. I am waiting for the rolls. They got two more minutes. About to put this top on to keep it warm. I got, it's in the oven, baby. It honestly may be done. Let's take it out and brush some butter on it. Fresh butter. 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 I actually love making them like honey butter. Honey butter. I drizzle a little bit of <laughs> literally the best honey I get from our local Aldi. Drizzle a little honey butter a little. and then then we be done. Here's Addie's plate. She has tortellini. We got oranges and then half a piece of honey butter bread. And then just going to put this over here and let it cool down. Good morning, guys. It's not me up here looking crazy. In the kitchen, it is 9.30 on the dot. We both just woke up, kind of. Addie's in my room watching TV. I came in the kitchen to make me some coffee. Cause it's needed right now. So 
I feel like I showed my coffee routine in a vlog. I don't remember, but if I didn't, I used the Califia cold brew, medium roast. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Califia, girl. 12 ounces is the serving size because I think it's over 150 milligrams per serving. And you know how they say like, you're not supposed to go over like 200 when you're pregnant, something like that. This is the thing. This is why I can't wait to get back on my Thrive stuff because I didn't need nowhere near 150 milligrams of caffeine when I was on Thrive. I didn't. And it actually, I actually felt it. So right now, I only feel this a some tiny smudge and I am, you know, over it at this point. I plan on getting back on my shit, stuff, whatever, at the beginning of the year, so I'm excited. Gotta get my routine down and, you know, finish off the rest of the pregnancy doing it so then I can continue after it when he gets here and then be good. So, I think I'm gonna mix my two creamers. I have the Planet Oat Oat Milk Creamer and Caramel, and then I have the Silk Oat Milk Creamer and Maple Brown Sugar, y'all. These are both good. So, I'm gonna just pour a tiny bit of caramel. The caramel's almost gone. I'm sad. Oat milk creamer is the best creamer. Like if y'all still drinking dairy in y'all coffee, y'all missing out. Then I do a little bit of brown sugar. Y'all, this brown sugar one reminds me of the brown sugar syrup from Starbucks. If you love the brown sugar syrup from Starbucks, you need to get this one. And then I'm gonna top it off. This is how I was looking. I'm gonna top it off with my silk oat milk vanilla which is also bomb i'm an oat milk fanatic clearly oh my god why am i trying to do <laughs> i'm trying to lift up to show y'all and i'm struggling because i just got this milk and it's um heavy did all that i like it in my little to-go cup i need more because this one is so ghetto like we put it in the dishwasher when we weren't supposed to and it like melted melted all the words on the side but i got them for only like five dollars at target it was a pack of five and now i'm down to two i don't know how that works this is my straw that it came with mix it on up hope that it tastes good because it's all the way at the top can't add nothing else but I'm telling you, this is way better than me going to Starbucks and getting all these syrups and sweet cream, cold foam, and adding all the extra. Mm -hmm. Here comes your bag. Yeah. Here did. she goes. She heard me talking again. I need to stop picking hi, her up. Hi, y'all. I got my Chris. I'm be, I'm be <coughs> my family pictures pajamas. <laughs> she wants to wear our family pictures pajamas. That be more for our family pictures. I'm like, I don't even care. So, coffee is made. I gotta put the top on. I need to get some more cups. I've been looking at this cute cup on Amazon for like 16, 17 dollars. This glass, but I'm scared because I'm so clumsy. I'll probably drop it. I mean, it had glass, and then you know, at the bottom it had like the silicone or something. But um, I love you, y'all. <laughs> I don't even know if I should get it. Like, cause I be dropping stuff too much. I don't know, but it's so cute. That's the thing. So, yesterday I hit my two week mark using Curology. So here's my face, bare. As you can see, I still have marks, you know, right here in this area. But I did take a before and after picture. I took some pictures before I started and then I took some the other day. So I'm like, is it working? Like, do y'all see a difference? Because my mom said she saw a difference, Jordan said he saw a difference, and then when I put these two side by side, I'm like, okay, it kinda looked like something. So yeah, it's been two weeks, and I'm like, I feel like I wanna continue, cause I feel like I'm seeing something. So I don't know what to do though, as far as the cleanser anymore, because I actually just ran out. I don't know how I ran out that quick. I'm like, I probably was using too much. I don't know, I didn't think I was, but clearly I was, because it was supposed to be a 
30 day trial. Supposed to last for 30 days and only lasts for two weeks. So I still got my nighttime serum though and then my moisturizer. So I just started using my CeraVe um, cleanser for dry skin. Cause that's the only cleanser I have right now. So I actually think I'm gonna switch over though once I find a decent one to a turmeric, organic turmeric face cleanser. I'm gonna try to research and look up one because I know how turmeric helps with discoloration and stuff like that. And because it's not so harsh, I can use it while pregnant and it won't be, you know, all these crazy ingredients and stuff like that. So that is the Curology update. I'm excited though because I didn't think I was gonna see a difference at all. But when I put the picture side by side, I'm like, okay, I see something. I see something. Cause I'm just getting bad. I'm like, and I'm gonna be so shocked if after I have him, my whole face just go back to normal. Yes, I'm sad about it. Literally, what the hell? What the hell? Hey y'all, welcome to the next day of this vlog. <laughs> hey, crazy hair girl Addy, about to do her hair, we clearly about to leave. So first of all, I'm about to explain why I got the little black blood clot in my lip and I'm mad because my lip gloss is so cute today and it just make it look worse. But and daddy did it to mommy. Daddy did it to mommy. Okay. Daddy <laughs> so last night we were getting in the bed or whatever. And y'all know you got the sheet and you got the comforter. And I noticed that our sheet was like far down at the edge of the bed. I'm like, what the hell? So I looked under and I was like, why is our sheet at the edge of the bed? And Jordan was like, what the heck? So he went to go grab it and I don't know why he flew back so quick and I guess I was that close to him. But he flew back and whoom and hit me in the lip. And at first I thought it was bleeding. So I'm like touching it, I'm like it's not bleeding. I'm like looking at my hand and it's dark cause we only have the TV on. I'm looking at my hand, I'm like I don't see blood but it feel weird. So that's when Jordan flashed his light on it. He thought it was bleeding. I'm trying to tell him it's not bleeding bait. It's literally just like a little clot on my lip. And so it was bright red last night. He felt so bad. I'm like, it's too much. So he felt so bad. He gave me an ice pack. I slept with it for a little bit. Then I took it off because my lip was starting to get numb. I'm just like, but this morning it looked like this. Literally black. Literally black dot. But last night it was bigger and it was red, like bright red. So it's getting better. At least my lip ain't swollen. It's literally just that part. And it happened because my tooth hit my mouth. My tooth hit my lip when he went back like that. I'm just like, wow. So, hi, hello. Anyway, this morning I went to go get my nails done. Baby, my nail tech, she always lays. I'm telling y'all. You that's like that? The boy and that's the girl they yeah, walk boy in. gingerbread and girl gingerbread. My last holiday set for the year. Cause I actually don't go back and see her until January 6th. Which is that sounds so far away. But I think it's three weeks from today. Is that three weeks from today? I think it's three weeks from today. So I'm going to see her. Show y'all baby boy today. I just got done drinking a ton of water and eating. My belly button is growing. My belly button is growing. So here's the bump. 23 week bump. It feels super tight today. I'm like, I can barely breathe. So that's part of the reason why I didn't finish vlogging yesterday because I just feel so like heavy. I'm like, oh my God, my stomach feels so heavy at only 23 weeks. So. I like lay down. Addie and I watched a movie. We watched Monster House together. We didn't get through the whole thing because she was getting scared, I guess. So <laughs> maybe we could try to watch another movie today. You wanna watch Polar Express? Yeah. We could try to watch Polar Express. Well, we already did before, but I wanna watch it again. That's my favorite Christmas movie. One of my favorites. Might watch that tonight. But right now, y'all, I didn't even show y'all except for the ones on Instagram. And Facebook, but if you didn't know or if you missed the post your girl got her new car I got the new car. It's been like two weeks now three weeks something like that 
when y'all saw me if y'all did on the other vlog we went test driving three cars i did two jeeps and then a gmc ended up with the gmc hubby bought it for me so freaking happy and excited i finally got a big enough suv that both kids will be able to fit in so i'm gonna show y'all the new suv since we are about to head out we are going to go wash it because it's um it hasn't been washed since i bought it and i was like looking a little dusty so i'm like i gotta go wash her then we are going to one of our favorite ice cream places that we actually haven't visited in a while because it's where we used to live so we don't go over there no more but they open at 2 it's like 1 45 so we're gonna go get the car washed out there and then we're going mr why does he do this drawers and closets i'm telling y'all the hubby and wife q a he does it all the time mine stay closed it's not hard for me to take something off or get something out and close it him and then look at this why pair of socks clean pair of socks i'm telling y'all he just crazy so anyways we're gonna go there after we do the car wash because they literally like down the street from each other and let's go see the car so we're in our messy garage but here she is 2020 gmc terrain addy already in the car this garage is so messy you can literally see all the messiness on the reflection <laughs> but all black can't wait to get black rims it's the sle and it is bomb y'all hello we got the trunk got the stroller back there plenty of room plenty of space and then all i have to do is press the button and it goes down i love to see it and yeah y'all it's bomb here's the inside So yeah, it is push to start. So grateful, thankful, and happy that I finally was able to get a new SUV in time. I was nervous, cause I'm like, baby boy gonna be here in literally three months. And I'm like, I need me a new car. So finally was able to get it. And yeah, I just feel better driving a bigger car, like period. Okay, let's go. All right, y'all, we pulling up to the car wash and why am I so nervous? <laughs> I'm scared. Oh my god, I gotta put the card in. With these nails, I couldn't even get the card out. You are now ready to enter the car wash. Y'all, I'm nervous. Everybody windows up. Everybody windows up! Y'all, I'm nervous. I hope there's somebody in here that's gonna guide me. Like, cause I was so good at guiding my car. You know? And now I gotta guide the my fucking truck. Why? It don't look like it's a man over here to help me. I'm about to scream. Y'all, I did good. I got over here and it was a man here to help me. I literally pulled in straight right away. I love that for me because I'll be struggling. What do you think, boo? Ooh. First car wash in the new car. Is the lip for me. Um, let me turn it down. So, yeah, we went to the first place where we used to live. They were, like, closed down. Like, shut down. We're out of business. Don't come back. I'm like, okay. So, uh, we went to another ice cream place. Me forgetting that they're an ice cream place that they're an ice cream place that closes for the season so they not open at all until spring so now we then found a cold stone because i'm like i did not want dairy queen it wasn't giving it wasn't it wasn't sounding like it's something that i want so we're gonna go in here they don't have seating in here but we didn't want to eat in here in there anyway we're gonna go inside and then come in the car and eat our ice cream together. Addy just woke up. Hello. Hi. And there it is. We found it. We're here. We're going in. Y'all, look at that. Like, it's slowly going away by itself. 
it's actually been peeling by itself because I've been eating and stuff like that. But we home, as you can tell. I'm in the bed. I'm gonna take these pants off, honey, because oh my god, y'all, it's getting so freaking real. I cannot. Like I can't believe I got 17 weeks left. Uh but it is now time to semi wind down for the night. Jordan is on his way home. He didn't have to like work a full shift today, but he had to go in and take care of a customer, so he's on his way home now from that he's going to go pick us up some thai food i'm excited but um he's going to go pick us up that and then he'll be home but as i said it's time for me to kind of wind down simmer down for the night so the way i do it is like i feel like what should i say the way i do it is like in parts <laughs> because i obviously can't do everything right now because it's only 5 38 so Addy doesn't go to bed till nine and um you know gotta do some stuff so i do plan on taking a bath tonight y'all because that is the relief i get right now for my back and my stomach i also have a heating pad for my back tonight i'm i'm feeling bath i'm feeling like i want to soak and relax in my lavender bath salts so definitely gonna do that tonight but first and foremost like i mentioned at the beginning of the video if you saw this video is in partnership with ancient cosmetics they were kind enough to send me two body butters to try out and y'all i'm so excited because body butters are my thing especially for this time of the season your girl skin gets so dry i'm talking face hands like my hands are dry right now i stay washing them and they get bad in the winter and fall because you know i don't immediately put on lotion afterwards all the time and i know i need to because it's like sometimes they would get so bad that my skin my hands would turn colors they'll be like light and dark in some areas because that's how dry my skin would be so i'm like loving cocoa butter shea butter anything thick coconut oil stuff like that mix body butters are the thing so they sent me two different ones and they go perfect with this holiday season y'all so this one is cozy hot chocolate body butter and if y'all know me y'all know i'm the chocolate fanatic so i already knew i was gonna love this i'm like oh my god it just smells just I want to lick it. I want to lick it. But <laughs> we can't do that. I love these body butters specifically because they are made with love and care. No fragrances, no dyes, crazy stuff like that. Um, no sulfates, no parabens, no gluten, no synthetic colors, and no animal testing. You apply it twice daily or as needed. It was handmade in the USA. And yeah, the ingredients, shea butter, cocoa butter, coconut oil, and a little fragrance. So, that's the first one. I'm trying to decide which one I'm going to use tonight. I have a second one, Toasted Marshmallow. Jordan, of course, likes this one the most because it. he says it smells like vanilla and he loves vanilla. So, it was like him and me. <laughs> I actually... Ooh... I think I might put this one on tonight. It's given, it's given toasty by the fire, you know, you're chilling, you're relaxing. So, mm, I think I might do this one tonight, y'all. It's the same thing with no sulfates, parabens, gluten, synthetic color, stuff like that. I think I'm going to use this one tonight. So, I'm going to show y'all a little pregnant mommy nighttime routine, how I wind down for the night and what exactly I do. And yeah. I think I'm gonna start off by showing you guys since I can't do like my bath routine and skincare right now until Addie like winds down a little bit and Jordan gets here. I think I'll start off by showing you guys dinner and what I'm gonna eat for dinner. Then we'll go from dinner to bath time, skincare, blah, blah, blah. And then we'll take it from there.
about to go. Your favorite place? Putting all the presents from grandma under the tree. She's shaking them. You trying to figure out what's in there, girl? <laughs> Ma'am. Hello. Are you ready to go to bed? Do y'all know if this is the real Santa or is this the fake Santa? <laughs> Eddie. She want to know if y'all know if this is the real Santa or the fake Santa. This is <laughs> her Christmas gift from Baxter, which is... Jordan's doggy at his house back at home. That's grandma's doggy. Yeah. Yeah, so you get your Christmas present. Addie been analyzing this picture for a long time trying I'm to figure out if it's the real or fake Santa. I'll play when that was my age. Okay. I'll play when that was my age. Yo. I'll play when that was her age. What is the thing? On the table. Huh? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Why did my grandma have on shaky pants? Girl. She need pants that is not shaky. And daddy in the back trying to choke grandma. And the neck. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> the y'all. What are you trying to do? My night routine is supposed to be starting right now. And yeah. this is what it's consisted of. Yeah, the night routine needs to be right now, y'all. That means Addie gets in the bed. The Daddy, night. pull out the bottle. <laughs> and the pan. Black ass pan. Oh my God, I scraped it so much. I made a mistake. I was making bacon. And I, I make our bacon and I pour syrup in the pan to make it maple. Burnt and I, I made a mistake and left it there and then it was like that. So I just had to just scrape it some more. Eddie, put the tape in I'm measuring my name. This is the time where glasses are off. It's time for me to run my bath. Eddie's in bed. I have my a lavender and chamomile bath salts calming amazing literally probably about to it says like two to four teaspoons but i don't even measure y'all i'll just be in there like and just pouring it in so I'm about to pour in some of that take these clothes off like <laughs> it's all crooked crazy this is the soap that i love using by raw sugar it's cold pressed it's vegan it's amazing great for your skin this is lemon sugar the scent i get it from i get this big old bottle from tj maxx i'm almost out actually it's probably literally the right there so i'll probably go pick up something tomorrow i definitely need some and yeah about to run my bath and then i'll show y'all the skincare routine when i get out and then lather up in my sweet marshmallow body butter because i always moisturize my stomach you know, stomach, the stretch marks. I mean, I have stretch, stretch marks from Addy, but I don't want any extra or like it to get really crazy or itchy. So I'm gonna put it, I always put it on my stomach and then around my neck, shoulders, elbows, and then hands. You don't know, I talk about my hands being super, super ashy. So, yeah.
That was my whole little routine. Now I'm getting ready to wind down for the night. I actually forgot that I got this earlier. My cold stone. About to finish that even though I literally just brushed my teeth. I'm gonna brush them again. I don't even care. But I'm about to chill. Uh, this body butter smells so freaking good. I just smell like vanilla. Oh my god, I love it. But be sure to check out both of them down below. I will link both of them for y'all. They are great, they are amazing, and thank you so much to Ancient Cosmetics for sending me those. And I don't know if this is gonna be the end of the vlog or not. So I feel like we may do something tomorrow or this weekend, I'm not sure, but if it does, I love y'all and thanks for watching. If it doesn't, then I'll see y'all when we restart. And we both know Every time you come around, every time you return